you ever made your mother so mad. She said, I brought you in this world. I will take you out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, God felt the same way about us too at one time or two. Maybe even now. Lord have mercy. Well, after Cain killed his brother Abel, things got really bad on the earth. I mean, it was bad. I mean, that's what I got from the word. I mean, God was heartbroken at the ugly behavior of his beautiful creatures. He couldn't believe it. It says here, and the Lord repented that he had made man on earth and it grieved him at his heart. He didn't dream a life of suffering for us. And people was just down here on the earth acting a fool. Is that true, 2017? So God was like, that's it. That's it. I'm shutting it down. I'm just going to kill everybody. Yeah, I'm going to kill them all. This has really gotten out of hand. I can't take it no more. But there was one. Noah. Yes, back to Noah. So Noah was the only just man that God could find on the earth at that time. Go check out part one. So God said, you know what, Noah? You all right. You do good by people. You work hard. You take care of your family. Even with all this evil going on, you still manage to do what's right. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to build me an ark. Okay, yes, Lord, my sons and I can do that. About this wide, about this tall, and about yay long. Okay, let's see. Whoa, that's a big arc, Lord. But don't, don't worry. No, no, don't worry. We can do it. Just curious, Lord. How much time do we have? Then I need you to put a window right here when you finish. Then I need one level here and another level here. You see what I'm saying? The two levels. Yes, yes, Lord, I hear you. I I excuse me, like, how long do we have? So the birds could go here and the... Ducks in the, uh, what now? Time, like, how much time to fit in? Time, Lord? I was asking how much time we had to build the ark. Just curious. Oh, and why the ark? I'm sorry, did I, did, did I miss that part? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, time. As far as time, you know, just, just keep building until I say it's time. But don't take your time. But I'm going to give you some time. Oh, and as far as the ark, I, I'm going to flood the earth and everything in it. The water will be high and in the tallest mountain. Gotta clean it up. Gotta clean it up. Everything, Lord? No, Noah. Everything except you and your family. <sighs> thank you, Lord. I'm going to make my new covenant with you, Noah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> bring your wife. Bring your kid. Bring their wives. Bring the beast. Even some unclean. Bring the fowl. Male and female of every kind of beast. And it came to pass. Noah was 600 years old and God did what he said he was going to do. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Such a classic Bible story. Okay, so the Bible says that the water from the floods was so high that it covered the mountains. Think of the tallest mountain you know. Right, everything died, everything. If you weren't in that ark, you was really messed up out here. I mean, like even if you could swim, can you imagine the screams from the people outside trying to get in? Noah, please, man, please, can you just let me in, man? Please, can you just, can you just please just cut a hole in the top of something, man, please? But there was nothing that Noah could do. Build your ark and get ready for the flood. Because once that ark takes off, message. Okay, so Noah, his fam, and all the animals drifted for 150 days. Okay, okay, okay. So here's the thing that I love about the Bible. The Bible has receipts, and they be pulling them. The Bible says that on October 17th, the ark stopped, and the water started to decrease. And on January 1st, you could start to see the mountaintop again. Okay, so even though the ark stopped, the rain stopped, and the water started decreasing, Noah still did not open the doors of that ark. Not yet. He waited on the Lord. He and his family and all the animals sat in that ark for 40 days, just waiting to hear from the Lord about what to do next. And then he opened the window to the ark. And then he sent out a raven and then he sent out a dove. The raven would go back and forth, just kind of scouring the earth, seeing what was going on. Was there any land anywhere? And the dove did the same thing too. At first, the dove came back and she was empty cloud. And Noah said, oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Then Noah sent the dove out again. And this time she returned with an olive leaf in her mouth. This is how Noah knew the waters were really abated from the earth. But it still didn't make a move. He was waiting and waiting and waiting. He sent the dove out again. And this time she ain't come back. No, she found her a nice little place to perch up on. This was in April. 
that's when Noah removed the covering of the ark. Okay, so in April, about seven months after the ark had stopped, Noah finally opened the doors of the ark because the time was right to do so. He waited. Wait to hear from God before you make a decision. No matter how long it takes. And on May 27th, oh, go check the receipts. The earth was completely dry. God said, come on out. Every living thing, all flesh, come on out that ark. Breed abundantly in the earth, be fruitful and multiply. Then Noah took all of the animals and all of his family and built an altar unto God and offered burnt offerings unto the altar. And the Lord smelled the sweet, savory aromas, and it touched his heart. And God said, all right, all right. I'm not going to curse y'all no more because y'all don't know how to act right. I will never flood the earth again. The seasons will be the season. The day will be the night. I'm going to let y'all hang yourselves. Oh, no, I'm not messing up all this good stuff I created. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.